okay, I, I cut out my hole here from my bracket. I got my box up in the attic and it's mounted. I got my bracket mounted to the box here. And on this particular fan here, I have a, um, a sensor that connects, uh, that's the part of the remote. But these wires have a blue one, a black and a white, and they uh, simply connect to the, the blue from the sensor connects to the blue on the, um, the fan, and the white to the white, and the black to the black. Those three. And we have the two ground wires connected here to the ground wire that's coming from the power source. And on the other side of the sensor here, we have a, a red and white wire. Um, the white wire connects to the white wire to the power here. And the red wire connects to the black wire from the power. We have a, a red wire coming from the sensor that connects to the black wire here. And the white to the white. And we have all of them um, connected. And this particular it's got a um, remote antenna there. This slides to the top of the fan. It's right on top of there between this space here. This slides between there. So you get the whole thing between there. Make sure the antenna is hanging out there and that just slides right in the place like that. And the antenna sticks out there. But all of this is covered this cat. And this piece slides on top of the cat. So we got all, all of that connected. This is a remote fan that you can operate with the remote. You're going to turn our switch in then. And we got power. Let me check my remote. Have my remote here for the fan and see what's going to happen here. That's one. We put it on number four. And that's the high speed there. We had power, we had fan, we did all this from scratch. We went to ran the wires, connected it to a power source, and then started switching the wall and we have a fan now. 
have my, my friend Heather Fan in her front room. So I'm 